take two. Good morning, everybody. So, uh, you guys usually see me in work gear, getting ready to go to work. Uh, and today, I am puttering around the house. It is rainy and nasty. Uh, but, I brought Miss Blue. We're going to Lowe's. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you guys about having a well-supplied first aid kit um, on your homestead and you don't even have to have it on homestead just like in your house um, the ones from like that you can buy from the store like yeah they're fine um, and they'll work but as a medic I find that there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't need I don't like eh. um, so first let me give you some backstory about why this is important um so I am I have spearheaded Jared has helped um the remodel of the house and um you know we're kind of going step by step room by room because we got to get rid of paneling we got to get rid of holes in the ceiling like we got to do some stuff and because you know it's easier just to kind of go room by room so at least then it's finished um because I don't like having half finished projects. Like I like to get things done. So, um, so we got the laundry room done. It looks friggin' awesome. Um, I don't know how I pulled it off. Um, and now we're doing my closet, right? Well, we got 95% of it done today. Um, but people decided when, I don't know, I don't know if it was the old owners. I don't know if it was people that built the house. I have no idea. But somebody decided, um, instead of putting up good quality drywall, come here, come here. This is Blue. Blue is very mad because the window's not down. What? You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So, um, so anyways, they decided not to put up good drywall. And so, like, you touch it and it crumbles. And, um, so when they put the original... Uh, shelving up they nailed it into studs which was great for us because it helped us find studs the downside was is that they nailed it in and it's really hard to get nails out of dry or out of studs um when it's crammed in there and then they did it in like the corner so the only way that we could get it out is like bending the bracket it was a pain in the ass all right so anyways so then uh, I got most of it completed yesterday and I thought I was going to be smart. I was like, you know what? I need one extra dowel. I got a broom handle that's not being used. It'll work beautifully, right? No. No. I used a miter saw. And I smashed my finger in between the frame of the miter saw and the dowel as I was cutting it because it kicked back the dowel itself kicked back and when it kicked back it's you know my finger went shoop, right behind it and I smashed my finger and I broke my finger <laughs> and I have a really awesome blood blister going on right underneath the fingernail so I have it splinted and it's my favorite finger y'all like why so don't mind I'm not flipping you off but that that is my finger that is my finger uh it actually looks a lot better today and it doesn't hurt as bad today um but i called jared yesterday and i was like hey hey uh can you contact your medical director because he like his medical director works at the hospital where he drops off patients i said hey can you talk to him about getting a nitrate stick and a finger splint <laughs> he's like what i was like so what happened was and i told him and he's like why is it this stuff only happens when I'm at work? I don't know. Uh, so, this is why it's extremely important to have a well stocked first aid kit. So, I'm a medic and I have always had several rolls, different sizes of medical tape. I use it to wrap presents. I use it to stick stuff together. Um, and I'm like, where's my tape? I don't have any tape. I don't have, I think I have nothing. I got bandaging. Um, so what I'm gonna tell you is this. 
yes, you need boxes of band-aids because yes, band-aids are great. But honestly, here's what I think you need. Now, this is not the letter of the law. Okay, get what you need. But liquid skin. I almost never cut myself in a place where it's like easy. I always end up smashing my finger and you know slicing my fingers open or my hand or my foot or whatever in an area that is not really super awesome for a band-aid. That's usually where it goes. I very rarely have a, a spot where I can put a band-aid. Um, liquid skin. Peroxide, alcohol, and not one of the little itty bitty little bottles, the big, the big bottles. Especially if you homestead, good lord. Um, butterfly bandages, because if you have a wound that doesn't quite need suturing, learn how to suture. If you're anything like me, I hate going to the doctor, I hate going to the hospital, um, especially for stuff that I can do at home. What, Blue? Rude. So, um, I suture. Uh, I probably shouldn't, and I probably shouldn't put that out on Facebook, but I'm not practicing on anybody else. I practice on myself. Um, and I can suture, and we've got animals, and I can't tell you how many times I've had to sew up a dog, okay? So, suturing, learn how to suture. It'll, I'm not going to say it's going to save your life, but it's a really good skill to have. Um, so, we got the peroxide. Neosporin. Neosporin goes on everything. Now, what I will tell you is this. After three days, Neosporin is no longer effective. Didn't know that, did you? Three days. Three days is all it's effective for, so make sure that you get it on there. You clean it real good the first day. You got three days of Neosporin. After that, it's no good. You don't even need to bother with it. Um, the other thing is peroxide. I don't know if you know this, but peroxide, what it does is it eats all of the tissue that you um when you clean the wound so when you clean the wound really 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 good and you use peroxide which of course it hurts but you don't want to keep using peroxide the more you use peroxide the more it's going to eat away at that tissue that's trying to grow okay so don't keep using peroxide um again i would use it that first day maybe that second day and after that it's over you can use alcohol but i wouldn't i that if you have cleaned it really well and you've got a day or two of peroxide, you're clean. You're good to go. Um, and then you put the Neosporin on it um, for three days. And then the other thing is, now I don't know the pathophys of this or not, but what I can tell you is, is that when you have an infected wound, infected, like it's got pus coming out of it and it's nasty, it hurts. If you are not going to go get put on antibiotics and that's your prerogative, you do what you got to do. But you do not want to cover it. I don't know why we cover it. It takes longer to heal. The best thing that you can do, unless of course it's a staph infection. Um, actually, I did it with mine. Um, I had a tattoo get infected. I didn't keep it covered long enough for the scab to heal and I went to work with it. Got a staph infection. So, um, I leave mine open and I let them air out and that really helps. You can also use um, an iodine solution. I think it's the 3% iodine solution. Sorry, blue is mad. Um, a 3% iodine solution will help dry out everything. <laughs> Poor blue. Um, a 3% iodine solution will help dry out that infection. Um, you want to keep when it comes to that first couple of stages, you want to dry out the infection as much as you can because if you keep it covered, it's going to sit next to your skin and it's going to be hot because you're you're a hot natured person, right? It's 98 degrees and then it's you're sealing all that infection in and you're going to start infecting other healthy tissue. So, um, I always recommend keeping it open so that, you know, it can dry out. Um, Finger splints. Finger splints are great. 
Um, now what I will say with finger splints is this, this one will go in, will take the, the tape off of it and it will go in my goodie bag. I got a ton of different things. Um, cause you just never know when you're going to need it. Um, I now have two different kinds of splints and we're not going to use the nitrate stick just yet. Um, because it doesn't hurt. Like it hurts when I slam it into something, but it doesn't hurt you know, beyond that. So that's the big things. Um, bandaging, you know, getting a band-aid's great, but if you've got a bigger wound, you want gauze, you want um, four by fours and you know, stuff like that. It's gonna kind of pack the wound until you can get somewhere where you can get some help, whether that's an urgent care, an ER, whatever. Most people end up using towels. You know, and they're like cramming, you know, they're holding towels onto the wound. Well, wouldn't it be better if you had a whole bunch of four by fours? Because I call it a loaf because it looks like a loaf of bread. A loaf of four by fours and you just take it, you know, take a handful of them, cram up against the wound and then wrap it up. And now you have something that's going to help keep it secure and clean and not bleeding all over the place. And having those things on hand is huge. You know, most people, I don't know very many people who have four by fours on hand and gauze and like when they end up slicing their finger off on Christmas, you know, they're like, oh God, what do I do? They grab a towel and it's like, good, you know, you just washed your hand. You just, you know, wiped up the counter with that towel or you just, you know, you were handling chicken and you wiped your hands on that towel. Like that towel is gross. Every hand towel in a kitchen is disgusting. And you're gonna take that and you're gonna put it up against a very fresh wound not a super great idea so I always tell people we've got two drawer or I've got my closet it has a lot of our supplies in it and then I have a small little kit in the kitchen because most accidents happen in the kitchen um, and then I'm probably gonna make a little kit for um, down in the basement which is where our shop is um, because that's where accidents happen this one happened in the shop like, I can't believe that I did it, but I can totally believe that I did it. Um, so that's about it. You know, everything else, you know, yeah, you get your medicines and that, but that's a different post for a different day. Um, peroxide, alcohol, neosporin, four by fours, bandaging, finger splints, sutures. That's about it. That's really it. Now, what I will tell you is this, get yourself some pain medicine. I don't care what you use. I don't care. I personally like ibuprofen. It's an NSAID. So if you can't take NSAIDs, don't take that. Um, but I like ibuprofen. It's an anti-inflammatory and it does a really good job when you have swelling. Um, oh, also reusable ice packs. Everyone get, you know, everyone wants the disposable kind. Mm -mm. I've got one of the old fashioned, uh, like water bottle heaters, the hot water bottle things and watch your face. Um, but that's it. That's the long and short. And I hope you guys have a really great day. It's pouring down rain here. Um, Blue and I are going to go into Lowe's. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. She's uh, very much still a puppy and she's still learning. Would you like to go in? Would you like to go in? Blue, Blue. Blue, Blue. Would you say hi? Say hi? Look. No. Sorry. Y'all have a good day.